three, two, one. Lift off. 32 minutes past the hour. Lift off. The universe in its entirety, from the depths of the oceans to the high skies and beyond, is one of the wonders of our world today. Wouldn't it be lovely to make contact with another civilization that has arisen and evolved independently? Well, one thing you'd have to do first is to uh, be sure you can understand the message. How it was created and all that is within has been a mystery yet to be entirely solved by scientists worldwide. These peculiarities, especially when it comes to the solar system and space, have gained the attention of scientists and their curiosity has made them dedicated in their line of work to pursue and unravel these mysteries about our universe. In a bid to make these explorations around the solar system insightful and more accessible for them, Brilliant and award-winning inventions were made and used to explore our vast universe. Among these inventions are the legendary spacecraft that has been orbiting in space for the past 45 years in its full glory, the Voyager. This brilliant technology has helped scientists massively in their research to make further discoveries about planet Earth and other planets revolving around it. But recently, it sent a terrifying message back to scientists as it entered deep space. What is this brilliant technology? What did it discover in space? And how will the contents of this message affect NASA's history and humanity in general? Join us as we explore the wonders and vast explorations of the Voyager and the contents of the message it sent to the scientists here on Earth. Launched in 1977, the Voyager is a program that American scientists and NASA coordinated to employ two robotic interstellar probes, namely Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. These probes were launched due to a favorable alignment between Jupiter and Saturn, and in a bid to take advantage of the alignment, they were launched to fly near the planets so as to collect data for transmission back to Earth. After the launch, another decision was made to send Voyager 2 near Neptune and Uranus to study for the purpose of transmitting data back to the scientists and engineers of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The two interstellar robotic probes are powered by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, also known as RTGs. These are devices that process the heat released by radioactive plutonium decay, then convert it into electricity. Both spacecraft were well equipped with 10 scientific instruments, including a two-camera imaging system, a magnetometer, multiple spectrometers, and a gear that detects low-energy charged objects and particles with high-energy cosmic rays. The team assigned to the Voyager program mission has utilized the spacecraft's communication systems to enable them to study moons and planets, which brings the scientific investigations done on each probe to 11 times. The Voyager program cost a whopping $865 million for the original program, and when the Voyager interstellar mission was added later on, it cost an additional $30 million, making $895 million in total. Both spacecraft carry a golden phonograph record that consists of pictures and sounds of Earth. with directions on the cover as a symbol of steps for playing the record, with the data containing the location of Earth. This record is a gold-plated copper disc 30 centimeters in length and serves as a combination time capsule that contains an interstellar message to any civilization, a far future human or alien that may recover any of the robotic interstellar probes. The content of this record was selected by a committee chaired by Carl Sagan, which also had another vital member on the team, Timothy Ferris. In June 2012, Voyager 1 was detected to be almost out of the heliopause and was about to enter interstellar space. A year later, in September 2013, NASA announced that Voyager 1 had crossed the heliopause into interstellar space on the 25th of August 2012, making it the first spacecraft to achieve this feat. Voyager 2 was right behind Voyager 1 and became the second spacecraft to cross into interstellar space on November 5, 2018, although it took some time. This means that a one-way signal sent to Voyager 1 takes an estimated 21.5 hours to get there. To put this in relative terms, it means that the signals are traveling a distance of 14 billion miles away from Earth. 
From recent data collected, Voyager 1 was moving with a speed of 61,185 kilometers per hour, was 23.3 billion kilometers from the Sun, which is a distance of 14.6 billion miles away from Earth. The Voyager 2 probe was moving at a velocity of 55,335 kilometers per hour and was 19.4 billion kilometers from the Sun, a distance of 12.1 billion miles away from Earth. Isn't that mind-blowing? The latest information about the robotic interstellar probes from August 2022 is that Voyager 1 is currently speeding in space at a speed of 17,000 kilometers per second, according to the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory. However, since both interstellar probes have crossed the heliopause into deep space, there have been some issues recorded by Voyager 1, and a terrifying message was sent to the scientists back at NASA recently. The certified space Sora has been orbiting in space for the past 45 years, and as it keeps progressing and moving further into deep space with its system operations, scientists observe that the iconic spacecraft Voyager 1 has issued a couple of strange system data. With the readout coming from the attitude articulation and control system of the spacecraft, it seemed that the movements of the spacecraft and its orientation were not in alignment. This further brought about the theory that Voyager 1 is unclear about its location in space. This assumption was made because the articulation and control system of the spacecraft, AACS, is what enables the spacecraft to send data about the environment it is in to NASA. And now it has failed to send the correct data. This became a significant concern. A mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission said Suzanne Dodd, who started working at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California as a project manager on the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft, right as she graduated out of college in 1984. She said further, The spacecraft are both 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners prepared them for. And when Voyager 1's twin, the Voyager 2 probe, was checked, tests and data returned from Voyager 2 show that its system operations are normal. From the data that the scientists at NASA gathered, they saw that Voyager 1's attitude, articulation, and control system is sending data that is randomly generated. The data does not explain the actual details of what is happening on board the interstellar probe. Of all the three systems on Voyager 1, the computer system is the one that controls the orientation of the spacecraft, such as keeping the spacecraft's antenna pointed towards Earth in order to ensure that data from Voyager 1 keeps coming back to NASA. And it's also the same computer that deals with controlling the thrusters of the spacecraft. Only the telemetry signals does not make any sense, and it's producing either all zeros or the number 377. But since the system issue hasn't made the old spacecraft go into safe mode, all is still well with the spacecraft, Dodd said in a statement. If the spacecraft was in appalling conditions, we would be seeing a degradation in our signal from the spacecraft, which they didn't see. She said further that diagnosing the problem would come in two steps, which is finding out the root cause of the issue, because that is what would judge the next steps to be taken, whether to reset anything on the spacecraft or to switch to some of the backup hardware. But one thing was certain, the Voyager 1 would continue to be operated. However, when the engineers and scientists at NASA looked into the situation and moved in to fix the problem, they discovered that the attitude articulation and control system had been sending telemetry data through an onboard computer that was known to have stopped functioning years ago, so the computer corrupted the information. When the team noticed that this was the situation at hand, they decided to try a solution that wouldn't pose a great risk. They commanded the attitude articulation and control system to resume sending the data back to the right computer as it had always been. This step worked as it corrected the issue and set the systems of the interstellar probe back to their usual functions, and data was sent to the right computer once again. Although engineers do not yet understand why the AACS started to route telemetry data into another incorrect computer, assumptions were made that it could have been an error from a faulty command generated by another onboard computer. If that was the problem, then they would be certain that the issue was coming from a different place on the spacecraft. The team would not stop until the root cause of the invalid data is found, but they believe that the issue cannot be a threat to the long-term health and future of Voyager 1. We're happy to have the telemetry back, Dodd continued in a statement. We'll do a full memory readout of the AACS and look at everything it's been doing. 
that will help us try to diagnose the problem that caused the telemetry issue in the first place. So we're cautiously optimistic, but we still have more investigating to do. The iconic, man-made interstellar robotic probes have been in orbit, gathering data about our unique solar system and sending this information back to scientists and engineers at NASA for the past 45 years. The two probes are now in interstellar space, a place outside the heliopause and a region that no spacecraft has reached before. Yet Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 keep pushing further, breaking limits and creating history. This exploration made by these two inventions has increased our knowledge of the world around and beyond us, and has assisted scientists, engineers, researchers, and even students all over the world in the course of their work and studies about space and all that is within. Let us know what you think in the comments section below.